A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is the Blue Caribbean Sea, speaking to you all in the month of February 2020. God, richest blessing and grace to mankind everywhere to be saved. Brothers and sisters, I was watching in YouTube an interview with but on the Jimmy Show, I think that's the name of the guy, Jimmy Show. Jim Jimmy Show with Matt Dalalalti from the 80s experience. And the title of the video, the top the the, 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 the the name of the title of the topic was Letting Go of God. I just want to say to Matt Dalalalti and Jimmy on from the Jimmy Show. That term, letting go of God, is a wrong term. I want you all to know and all atheists and synastics all over the world that God is the one who created us and bring us into existence we did not made ourselves and therefore we always have to remind ourselves of that fact that God is our creator and it is he that creates us and therefore we always have to be holding on to God forevermore why have we we have to keep on holding on to God forevermore and not letting go of God. So simple. One, God is our creator. One, two, God is our life giver. It is mm -hmm. he who give us life. Two, three, it is God who is sending the rain, the sun and the moon and, make it, and, and providing us with food, the fishes and the grass to grow. Three, it is God who designed us and fashioned us. Four, it is God who is responsible for us, creating us on this earth. And we did not bring ourselves up on the earth. And therefore, knowing these five or four basic facts, we have to keep on holding on to our Creator God forevermore. So in that context, your little Christian bro brother, Eric Braxton, Madaladalti, and Jimmy on the Jimmy Show, I will be holding on to the Holy One of Israel, God the Father, and Jesus Christ forevermore. There is no letting go on my part. And all mankind have to break up to that divine truth. There, this clarion call. I want mankind to rally to that consciousness, to come to know that fact. We have to hold on to God forevermore because He's the one who created us. All of you all on the atheist show and atheist experience who are teaching people to let go of God and no longer hold on to God. You all are teaching the people the wrong thing. And Madan Lalanti, you are fooling and deceiving the people. And you, Jimmy, Jim from the Jimmy Show and all the rest, you all are teaching the people wrong th the wrong thing to let go of God. Matt, you did not make yourself. God created you. And God is the one who gave you the breath of life. Yes, my dear friend, Charles Darwin didn't create you. And no Big Bang didn't create you. And no evolution didn't create you. Because none of them things can't save you. But God, who is a spirit being, a real being, oh yes, he's the one that creates us. And he's the one we have to hold on to. And Matt, if you die in that ignorant and sin, and if you die an atheist, and reject all what I say in the resurrection, when God resurrects you in their judgment, you will come to know that fact when you stand before him. Uh -huh. But they don't have to reach for that. We know you grew up in the Southern Baptist. Once you was a Christian, now you embrace atheism. My best and my noble advice to give to you, Matt Dalalalti, and all the rest in the Dallas Tech, to Eddie Murphy, to um, Eric Murphy, and all the rest. Renounce atheism in the quickest possible time and, and revisit back your Christianity and embrace the Bible, the words of, words of God, and believe in Jesus Christ. You all need to do that quickly in the shortest possible time and become Christians once again. Yes, God have no right you right no right off none of you all. And of course I yell that Christian brother have no right off none of you all. That's why I'm recording the recording this video this video, taking the time and the effort, spending this energy to teach you all and to bring you all to that reality, that that consciousness that God loves you all. And of course it's right and it's stretch out still to save mankind. And that be for to you, Matt, and all those in the 80s experience in Dallas, Texas, and my 80s brothers and sisters all over the world. You all don't have to die 80s and remain in that ignorance that you all is. 
embrace the Bible, embrace Jesus Christ, accept the words of God, believe in God, believe in his words of Bible in the shortest possible time. Why? Because today, today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. So do that and make that conscious and that right decision in the shortest possible time. Not tomorrow, but today when you hear this video. Yes, my dear friend, brothers and sisters, this is my message to each and every one of you all out there who, 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 who have become atheists and being proud of it. There's nothing proud about that. Because you all are denying the existence of God. All mankind, we have to hold on to God. That's why all the true believers, all the saints of God, we are holding on to our Creator God. Because He is holding on to us. Why is God holding on to us, my dear brothers and sisters? Because God loves Him. God loves us. That's why He's holding on to us. We are His children. We are His sons and His daughters. And therefore, God is playing His part in holding on to us as His children. We on the other part have to play our part individually by holding on to what? To our Creator God. How wonderful, how wonderful, how wonderful indeed. Yes, my dear friends, brothers and sisters. So, Madame Lalanti, I want you to know 